What's up guys, how's it going? Jumping Gleamer here, and we're still playing some more Stick It To The Man. Um, if you guys remember, we got to teleport, we got a way to teleport from the beginning and to the end of the city, and we have to get this guy free from the trunk. Um, Beatrice, the dog, chased him down here. And I believe the key might be down there. I don't know if I can swim, but let's give it a shot. <laughs> no, I guess not. We can't swim here. So let's go ahead and keep taking a look around here to see what we can find. Oh, there's a crane here. Maybe this crane will be able to help us. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so we got another piece here. Can we use this maybe to open the truck? Let's take a look. Oh! Nice! And it's not too late for the competition. How can I ever say thanks? Well, uh, I could use a drive. I've got it. I'll dance for you, and then we can talk about Silver Surfer. Uh, for the NES? Aw, oh, man, I really want to talk about this, but I'm late. All right, and so that guy's heading out to the death it. competition. Where were you? Locked in a trunk, but this stranger wandered in and helped me out. Uh, it's been a good day for that, I think. Let's <laughs> dance. All right. An amazing set. Oh god, he's... <laughs> his eyebrows are 99 cents? I just saw that. <laughs> this is an outrage. I bid good morning to ensure my victory. I'm so angry, I could swallow my teeth. I could literally swallow my teeth. I'll save you, Don. I'll save you, Don's teeth. <laughs> now a bit of so now I know where we can get the teeth now. Oh, I wonder what they're thinking now. Don's actually kind of gross. And really old. And really. My bad. mouth feels lighter, like there's there's fewer teeth in it somehow. Let's see if this guy Can't talks stop about. this dance train. God, you're so creepy, bro. Give me those teeth. I got you, bro. I'm gonna hook you up with some teeth, but I really suggest These you're not with her anymore. So sparkly! They feel good! They feel right! What am I doing here? I need to go show Barbara! No, bro! Barbara! I'm back! And I got a mouthful to say to you! Bernie? Is that you? You're so sparkly. Oh, Bernie, where did we go wrong? <laughs> Don't do that, bro. We didn't, Barbara. Just forget it. Everything up to now is non-canon. Canonicity starts right now. Hey, thanks for the ride home, Bernie. Thanks for reminding me what's really important. Love. Sparkly teeth. Oh, well, I guess we're in another part of the city. Oh, no, we're not. Wait, we are? Hmm. Where am I now? Finally, I'm just a few jumps away from home where I can put all these hallucinatory spaghetti arms and oddly accurate mind reading behind me. No, man. You gotta keep this. This, this is awesome. You gotta keep this. Aline, I'm home. I've had the craziest day, honey. Uh, check it out. Think of a number between negative gazillion and infinity plus three. Bet you 50 bucks I can read your mind. <laughs> That's cool. So now we're at chapter four. How does that make you feel? All right, so it does. this one doesn't seem that creepy. You know, there's no creepy guys except for the guy up there in his apartment. He's looking at a palm tree. Eileen, I know that the arm sticking out of my head looks weird. The what? Uh, the arm sticking out of my head. Uh, I know it looks weird, uh, but... There's it... no arm sticking out of your head. Ray, are you going nuts on me? Are you dropping insanity balls on the floor? <laughs> no, sanity I... balls? <laughs> well, I don't think so. You really can't see it? Sweetie, why don't you go see my shrink? Dr. Egglesworth helped me a lot. I'm not afraid of grapes anymore, see? <laughs> she was oh, afraid of grapes. And maybe I am crazy. <clears throat> I guess it wouldn't hurt to see Dr. Egglesworth. I believe his office is over here, uh, to the right. Okay, so we need to go ahead and... 
Wow, that's a lot of question marks here, guys. We're gonna be busy here. But we'll make this quick. All right, so this is the way up home, and we gotta see the shrink because I guess it helped her with the fear of graves. And I guess that's the doctor. Happy, really? Look at that owl right there. Ah, that's him! He's the one who took your sacred thingamabob. I know because he has a stupid haircut. I don't forget a haircut <laughs> that dumb. Oh, dang. Why do those guys have white eyes? Are those guys aliens, Agent too? 23, reporting I'm in. guessing they're aliens, we too, guys. have a positive on our target. Instructions. Let me Hit go. Him. No, let me be free. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. You're not getting Wait, this, bro. Is this real? Am I being chased by these jerks? Or am I really just going totally nuts You ain't right getting now? this. You ain't getting this. Oh, look at that. We got some opera tonight. I know. It's just so sad. And it was so okay, sad. Okay, the doctor too. is out. Oh, Dr. Ecclesworth. If only you hadn't taken the death of your father so hard and fallen into deep depression. I'm glad you're seeing Dr. Brom. I'm also glad I'm paid by the hour. Take as long as you need, Dr. Egglesworth. Alright, so a doctor went to go see a doctor. Makes sense, I guess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, no, no, no. <laughs> sucker. You ain't getting me. Later, possibly imaginary suckers. <laughs> I'm too quick for you, bro. Okay, we're in a graveyard now. This is kind of spooky. Dagnabbit! I'm dead now! Well, that's an inconvenience for me, but it's not going to shut down my practice. There's okay, that's his dad. people out there who need lobotomies. Stay away from me with your lobotomies, man! Also, you're not as scary as I was expecting. I'm not scary. I'm a lobotomist. And it's the only way to cure what ails you, Sonny. A few cups, a few slips, and you won't have a care in the world. So let's read these guys' minds. That's a gentleman who loves digging six foot deep holes. This is basically the perfect job for me. Except for the constant and, and spooky hauntings. When well, they're talking about your issues ever solved anything. Action speaks louder than words. So and that action brains is apart. Wow, so this guy's crazy. He cuts brains. Alright. Alright, so I see another guy. Hey, what's up, bro? You can't handle this. What? See ya. Whoop. Hey, you ain't catching those me, man. guys are snappily dressed. They're probably pretty smart. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I should mind read them. Oh, never thought of that. That's a good idea. <laughs> wow, I should have not stayed up all night last night eating burritos. And yet I have no regrets about staying up all night eating burritos. Burritos are the best. Oh, oh this guy man. has some Z's. What happens if I put this sticker on an agent? <laughs> Sweet! Oh, sick! Make some See you later, bro. Oh, I probably don't have too long until they wake up. Oh, this is heavy. I've got to get to that psychiatrist's stat. All right. So, Dr. Broom, putting the screw back in. No refunds. Sounds fun. All right, so let's take a look over here and see. Is he up here somewhere? Uh, excuse me, the uh, doctor? Um, doctors? Dr. Brom, I can't go back to work. I just can't. Dad hated how I practiced my profession, and now that he's gone, we'll never reconcile. Hmm. There's no closure left for me. I'll never be able I to talk you, to him again. Mm-hmm. And how does that make you feel? Sad, I guess. Mm-hmm. And how does that make you feel? <laughs> what every psychologist would say. No, um, like, not happy? Like I have emotions that are making me depressed. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> how, how does that, does that make, make you feel? <laughs> Wait, how does that make you feel? 
Fine, thank you. But we're here to discuss you. Dang. Uh, I gotta help Dr. Egglesworth so that he can help me. <laughs> That's funny. So two questions. psychologists are talking to each other. Mm -hmm. Could be kind of weird. And I think that guy's a gorilla. Wow, did work get a lot easier when I realized I could ask. And how does that make you feel? To every question. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what if this guy only says. I could talk to my dad one more time. Get him to understand why I do what I do. I just need one last chat with him. Man, I don't need a psychiatrist. I need a medium. Or at least a necromancer. Wait, necromancers don't really exist, do they? No, uh, I think... Okay, so we're looking for a medium. Um, we gotta change the guys with this thoughts. And we gotta make him talk to his father. All right, so as far as the map, it's, it's pretty big, and then there's still, we're almost done there. Oh, we missed a question mark at the beginning of the end, but hopefully we'll be able to go back, you know. But before we do that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. You know, I'm, I hope you guys are enjoying this one. This one's actually pretty fun. Stick it to the man. I like being able to read people's minds. It's, it's pretty fun. So I want to thank you guys again for all your support and watching. My name is Jumping Lemur, and I'm out.